Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my WWE Wall Super Show review for tonight, Monday, March 19, 2012. Finally, after not making a Wall review last week, I'm making a review for this week. Overall, tonight's Wall in Philly. I think it was okay Wall tonight when it comes to building up feuds with Rock C9 and a couple other feuds, especially uh, Triple H and Undertaker and. CM Punk and Jericho, which I'll get to in a moment, because that's what kicked off for tonight. Um, it was okay wrestling-wise. What, two little school job interferences and okay matches. It was okay night. New members of Team Johnny. A couple other things, so there you go. Um, with that overall thoughts, let's get down to full thing, which we'll start with CM Punk. Coming out, of course, mentioned on the attack line. So I didn't make a pop review last week, because I was sick. Uh... Last week, Chris Jericho nailed Punk's Punk card, basically, when Jericho said that Jericho said that Punk's dad is a drunk, an alcoholic. That's why Punk's been all straight edge and against drinking. So, Jericho wasn't on wall this week. Maybe he was at the season premiere of Dancing with the Stars. If I didn't see him there, because I watched Dancing, too. Talk about that tomorrow in the tech line. But Punk said that Jericho was in the building. I'm glad he, he, he even said he was glad he wasn't because he was very angry and frustrated at Chris for what he said. And he went on his whole speech about, you know, straight edge and about not dreading on the past and going forward and trying to beat the ditch. That's what happened, Jay uh, Punk said that his dad is a fully recovered. And that's what Jericho didn't mention in the message. That is, that you can't fight it, that you can't fight a ditch. That is the truth. I mean, you can't fight addiction. You can come out the wrong side and be happy with yourself in the end by quitting. Well, Jericho was not at wall. I'm guessing dancing from here, but I don't know. So, Jericho did appear via satellite. He pulled the rock. Isn't it weird that rock's live tonight? And Jericho's the one pulling a via satellite job. <laughs> so, Jericho came on effectively. Well, thinking that he said that I'm going to apologize for what I said. That's all he thought. So he said, I'm going to never say anything about your dad again about him being a drunk. Your sister, I kind of knew, was going to go for the sincere move and then be insincere and lie. So I'm not going to say anything about your dad. Your sister, well, she smoked drugs. She's a drug addict. That's the way things are going for your punk. Your dad's an alcoholic. Your sister's a drug addict. You're next. You're the next addict in the family, punk. That's what he's saying. That's why he's nailing Punk with about this addict stuff. Especially, we know Punk is the biggest advocate for straight edge there is. Now that the, the face is first feud with Jeff Hardy. You know, Punk being the savior from the drug-filled world of Hardy. And now, Punk, the straight edge savior, is up against the anti him with Jericho talking about drugs and alcohol affecting people. And Jericho did say, yes, you can fight a ditching, but you won't get out of it, punk. You won't get through this when I beat you for the title at WrestleMania. Because punk is fuming. And uh, I'm, since next week's last Raw before Mania in Atlanta, you know Jericho's going to be live, in person, not via satellite. And you know punk's going to try every chance he gets to get his hands all over Chris before WrestleMania. So if you got a little more exciting, especially if Jericho nailed this punk card. Literally on punk. So we'll see what kind of physical altercation they'll have next week. When they'll hopefully both in person in Atlanta. On our first match, which was the Battle of the Bohemians. Battle of the Sucky WrestleMania matches. As Big Shell, heading towards his match against Cody Wells, took on Kane. Who's heading towards his match with Randy Orton. Who was interviewed. I'll get to that later on in a few moments or so. But, to once again, and go over Big Show's face. Cody Rhodes came out, and the clip about Big Show's embarrassing much many moments. That's, of course, this whole storyline base. And the match, I knew it was going to be sloppy, but I knew it was going to be quick. Big Show, it wasn't even a match. It was like a segment. Kind of reminded me of when Santino beat Jack Swagger. It was much of a match. It was a lot of outside interference. Well, that's what happened. Big Show came, did some pushing and shoving, and tried some choke some attempts. The Cody Welch, who was at ringside, distracted the Big Show and let him be distracted so much 
He got choke slammed by Kane of the top rope. One, two, three, Kane gets a victory. Thanks to Cody Rhodes' interference. With punching gloves. He kind of handcuffed Big Show. I thought he didn't nail Big Show enough by the rope, but he handcuffed him well enough to beat the crowd by the Big Show, handcuffed with the boxing, boxing gloves. Some punches, I think like one punch really got Big Show mad, and you can hear him say, one! And Cody did one. In Big Show's face, you can tell his face is angry. He's like, oh man, this match is going to suck against Cody. But I got to think that it's a big match. Especially, it's supposed to be for the IC title. But we know Big Show's not going to win the IC title. No way. Or make it non-title, but we'll see what happens when Big Show kicks on Cody Welt. So once again, Cody puts egg in Big Show's face, causing a match against Kane, and airing him another clip of his WrestleMania embarrassments. Will Big Show finally overcome it and get... Cody Rhodes is most many embarrassment. See what happens at Mania. See how this feud builds up. We head towards war next week in Mania. Of course, April 1st in Florida. Speaking of most many, on our next match, which was the Battle of the Two Coaches. After being put in a handicap match last week against the captain of Team Johnny, David Otunga, and Mark Henry, another member of Team Johnny. Two new members were added, which I'll get to in a moment. Santino Morella, the United States Champion and Captain of Team Teddy, he took on David Otunga one-on-one. -on -one. But like the Kane Big Show match, interference came into play. Santino was working hard. He was ready to nail the Cobra on David Otunga to make a quick work of him. However, the feud between Johnny and Teddy once again distracted Santino. Following a takedown, another slap from Teddy, Otunga got Santino one, two, three. Big victory for Otunga the captain of Team Teddy. Now, as I mentioned, we did have two new members, which I'll get to when we get to a tag match in a moment or so. So, David Otunga will lash in his victory against Santino Morella, who got a big reception. The Rock got another big reception as he is in Philly. He talked on video about Rocky Balboa and about being a hero and several things, but being seen as ass and serving a Philly's cheesesteak up his ass. Kenny ass. It's Kenny ass. Sick at your rock, catchphrases and all. But he said, Cena, I'm going to be on my way to the Bell Wells Fargo Arena and I will destroy you. Or at least send you a message. Cena, I'll send you a message loud and clear tonight. Well, before Rock was sent a message, it's time for a match involving the World Heavyweight Champion, Daniel Bryan against the Inlet Champion, Zack Ryder, making his first. In ring match on Raw and a wire ever since Kane. Uh, despite this good showing by Zack Ryder, okay showing from his first match back, trying to get on Team Teddy. Team Teddy needs a lot of help. It's only three on five right now with the two of newest members, as I keep mentioning. Uh, Zack Ryder did nail the big boot, the Broski boot on Daniel Bryan. But before Zack was going to nail the Rough Rider, he got a guy in a position, but Daniel caught him, got in a lapel lock. He got the victory, sending a huge message to his WrestleMania opponent, Sheamus, who he caused the match against at SmackDown last week. I thought Sheamus was going to come out and interfere in this match to help Ryder out and cause Daniel Bryan a match, but she was like, oh, Daniel Bryan deserves to lose to Zach, beat Zach Ryder. But we'll see what happens with that. But I'm happy to see Ryder back on Wall, and hopefully we'll see Ryder on Team Teddy. But Daniel Bryan gets another win. I'm glad it's clean at least, not cheap. But still, there you go. Now we saw the rock. Now it's time to see John Cena. Recovering from his little fender bender, fender bender in Philly for morning. John Cena was in a match against Mark Henry. Now the typical Super Cena matchup. Mark Henry beating the crap out of Cena for like the first five minutes. Cena trying to fight back, but then Mark was still powered. And then all of a sudden, dun dun dun! dun we all knew he was gonna show up. Super Cena heading into WrestleMania, despite getting his ass whipped once again. Cena came back. After two attempts, first time he almost broke his back. Second time, by some brute strength, John Cena did get the FU. I'll never say attitude adjustment. FU, Mark Henry. One, two, three. John Cena gets another big victory. And then here comes the rock. His first physical move in this whole feud. Rock bottom in. Mark Henry. Wish he rock bottom Cena, but that would be too predictable. Oh, let's rock, rock Cena. Rock bottom, too predictable. Let's have rock bottom, rock, rock bottom, Mark Henry. That's unpredictable. 
They'll still send a message to Cena at the same time, which he did. Send a message to Cena. That's all Rock did. He just came out, beat up more kidney, and left. Well, Rock will be in Atlanta next week with Cena, so we can spend one more big epic confrontation on Raw next week as we head towards this feud. Uh, Cena didn't do much talking. He let the fighting do the talking tonight. He beat up more kidney, despite getting his ass beat, and of course his little fender bender. Now to that, on to our next match, which was the man that Rock helped him, Miz, the man that Rock helped beat Cena last year at WrestleMania. Of course, Miz rambled about not being in WrestleMania, yada, yada, yada. So he issued an open challenge. Well, he was against the Celtic Warrior, the number one contender. The Great White Sheamus. What I have to say, Miz is just getting his ass whipped. He's being blamed for everything. Uh, Miz played his best. You know, he was showing some offense out there, but Sheamus got the crow kick, and it was over. One, two, three. I think he had like, two attempts at a crow kick. But the second attempt, like Cena's second attempt at the FU on Mark Henry, he got the second attempt on the crow kick and got it. Rick me for Sheamus. He's on a roll heading towards Mania. So Daniel won a match, and Sheamus won his match tonight. So, so they both have momentum heading towards Mania. See what happens there in their match at WrestleMania for the world title. Now after that, okay matchup. We're on to our tag match. Before that, we had Randy Orton get interviewed about his match against Kane, which was made official. I think my last war review, which was two weeks ago, I predicted that Orton was going to face Kane, and I was right again. Right again, I predicted that Kane, Orton's going to wrestle, despite the fact it's going to suck. So Owen came out talking about Kane's having identity crashes, crisis, whatever. I'm not the big red monster, I'm the Randy Orton. Basically what he did. <laughs> so after Randy Orton, blah, blah, we found out who was the new members of Team Teddy. Uh, not Team Teddy. Team Johnny. Jordan Otunga and Jordan Mark Henry and Christian is Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler. Now, with the exception of Tonga, and I hate Johnny Law and Iris, but you know what? He's got a great team. Former world champions. Mark Henry, Ziggler, Swagger, and Christian. Man. They took on two members of Team Co uh, Team Teddy, Kofi, and all truth in this tag match. And Asana and Vicky were ready to tear each other apart where they did at the end of the match. It's an okay tag. And I've always said this about Swagger and Ziggler, that they all have a great tag team. They have great chemistry in there in the ring and they're great athletes. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of Ziggler. And I'm glad he's getting the spotlight a little bit to show off. It was an okay tag match. Kofi was getting his all yeah, Kofi was getting his ass with most of the match. All Truth came in. And all Truth was destined to win the match. He was ready to kick some ass and it was all It was all Truth Near the end, with uh, everything to advantage, with Kofi flying the stub swagger, all troops made a deliver move. However, Dolph got the zigzag. One, two, three, Dolph won, and Swagger won. However, all troops foot was on the rope, but before we got a chance to see it, Vicky pulled all troops foot off the rope. That's when Asana got involved and shut down Vicky Guerrero, and we had a little cat fight between Asana and Vicky. And of course, all four men, Kofi, all Troop, and Dolph, and Swagger, were all trying to break up Asana and Vicky after the little cat fight broke out. So you see, these two are going to get it on in Mania. I bet you somehow during the match, Asana and Vicky will fight, and so will Tenny and Johnny in this feud. So it's five on three thus far. So it's going to be Otunga, Mark Henry, Christian, Swagger, and Ziggler against Santino, Kofi, and Troop. Well, guess exactly where will be in there. We didn't see Evan Bourne tonight. He is back from suspension. He maybe he'll be involved. Member number six for Team Johnny. I'm guessing either Miz or Alberto. If Alberto comes back in time. I mean rules bring Mysterio be on Team Teddy. Who knows what'll happen there? Well we envision of that. And of course, finding out Flo is gonna be on WrestleMania. <laughs> That's as bad as the love from Kid Rock. Apparently Flo is gonna join the Rock. I know Flo is doing a the theme. But then they learn from CeeLo at SummerSlam and Ken Rock at WrestleMania. I love music, but music performances at WrestleMania and SummerSlam don't mix. You don't learn, WWE. You don't learn. Anyway, one well, last segment. Usually, Rock and Cena's been ending it. But tonight, 
they gave the end segment and the build buzz for the Hell in a Cell and Urban Era match as all three guys, Triple H, Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels, were all in the same building in Tulsa for the first time since Shawn's announcement of being the special guest referee. We saw Triple H confront uh, Shawn Michaels. Last week, we saw Shawn confront Taker. Now, all three had a little epic confrontation. They all talked about being in Hell in a Cell. Now, these two, Taker and Triple H, are the two biggest Hell in a Cell icons. They both had like the best moments in Hell in a Cell, so I'm happy that they're both going to be in this matchup. It's going to be okay matchup. And Sean talked about, you know, who's he going to side, who's he going to screw or whatever, if he's going to screw Triple H or screw Undertaker. And Taker in the end, he said, Triple H, when I said Sean's better than you, well, I am right, he is. So we had a stay on that between Triple H and Sean. There's a little talking stuff about. Hell to sell, but who I'm gonna end you? I'm gonna end your era, yada yada yada. That's how we end with Taker walking out and Triple H eyeing Shawn Michaels. Now, Shawn was rumored referee last year. It's so weird to see him referee this match this year for Hell to Cell. So we'll see what happens. Will Shawn screw Triple H or screw Undertaker? Who knows what'll go down there? And if they're gonna conflict with each other next week, Trail Towards Mania, Last Wall. Before many of the should be an intense situation where I can see his last confrontation. Maybe another confrontation between Triple H, Sean and Tanker. Apparently, Punk and Jericho are both in the building. I've been guessing that to see Jericho back in the building. So we'll see them get involved in something. Sheamus and Daniel Bryan, Tony, Johnny and Teddy. So we'll see what happens next week on Wall in Atlanta. But today's Wall, okay. Okay, Wall. Building storyline wise, see what happens in Atlanta next week. That's it for my Wall Review. Thank you all very much for watching. Comment your thoughts below. Subscribe and like this video. What are your thoughts on WrestleMania? Who do you think is going to win the Rock Cena match? Take a trip range. Etc. Thoughts on WrestleMania. Thank you very much again for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And y'all been attacked by the review from Zach. Thank you all very much. See you all later. Have a great night. Yeah.